Hi. So uh, I made a few tests to see some parameters that and how they affect the waves in Houdini. So basically, uh, the wave itself is the same system for all of the, the, the situations that I created here. And let me share some of the results. Uh, so here, basically, we have like the DOP uh, substeps to be one and the sober max substeps to be one and particle separation as 0 0.08. So basically, what I mean by the, the substeps is that in the DOP network, you have like these substeps uh, and inside the dot network inside the solver you have the max substep so basically in this case i have like one and one in both nerves and that's the result of the wave so if i just visualize what the solver substeps do to the waves uh, you're going to see like a, a little bit of difference. Let me just pause here and let's see the difference. So basically same thing. The only difference is the number of maximum steps inside this over there. So you see the, the maximum steps give much more um, details and definition to the shapes. Uh, where this one, it smooths out more like if you have only one. So you see you have like less turbulence, especially here you see like you have this and this. Let's move one a little bit further, like for example here. You see how flat one is and how more turbulence you have if you just increase the substeps inside the solver. So next, I added two substeps on the top and also inside the max and the same particle separation. So here, let's see, at this stage, let's see how this compares to this. So it's, they are more or less the same so far. And even this one is all of them are more or less the same. But when we have more turbulence, uh, we'll see more difference between them. So yeah, let's see and compare. Uh, another sub-step, it's creating like this uh, sliding in the front. You see how weird is this? So I'm not sure how, how this is going to, uh, to, to be as we increase the revolution and the, decrease the particle separation. But basically we have like this big bounce and then we have like this slide in the front. But a lot of details, if we compare with uh, one substep and two, they are basically, they have um, more or less the same amount of detail, but this, the two substeps has this uh, issue in the front. So the next thing that I want to compare uh, here, we have, look how different it is. And this is just decreasing the particle separation. So now we have like 0 .00, uh, 0.04. It's, uh, it's half the number like 0 0.08 but the amount of particles is increased by a lot because uh, it, it it's not linear you know like it's a geometric uh, increase in the in the density of the, the particles uh, so basically let me see we have one sub steps and max one as well so the, look how this was like what the size of the wave and all the forces in the waves are the same so i didn't change anything and now you see a lot of more details and much smaller wave so but look the amount of details much smaller wave you see the shape much smaller and there is something to do with the thickness and the amount of water because this is using narrow band uh, we, we have like some simulations uh, playing with the narrow band so we can uh, see also that but basically you see and, and uh, when, once the wave hits the water because we have more particle separation uh, less particle separation like a smaller now what happened the fluid they they kind of like uh, clump together like when two particles when a few particles they are very close together they tend to to clump together so this uh, 
it's not like um, if you do j just a regular dop theme where you only have particles and you don't have like a fluid feeling to it uh, the particles they don't care much about the particles in, uh, on their sides like the neighbors but the fluid they they care a lot about the neighbors how far each neighbor is and how much they clump so what what you happens here when the wave breaks uh, we have less sliding here in the front and the wave just get like rolling more in a natural behavior as you would see in nature so this is a bit better and you see like the end of the video how much particles we have here compared to this one uh, like how, how much they keep sliding and uh, like as this would be like a surface where this is just sliding on the top see where when we compare to this one it's just like uh, it has a much more natural behavior so the particle separation it affects a lot the shape and of course the resolution and details of the wave but the most surprising uh, is the, the behavior of not sliding so much on top of, of itself so now the next one we have two sub steps and we have also max sub steps as two but like 0 0.04 still the particle separation and now we have more volume and more strength to the wave compared to this one see and let's see the explosion look the difference in the explosion how much detail we have here and because um if we compare to the to this one where we have like the, the same settings in sub steps but like double uh, 0 0.08 in particle separation you see here and here a lot of details and this is just like a, a big thing but you see that more sub steps also make it slides more uh, as you can see here in comparison to one now it just stopped and in this one oh sorry in this one you see it's just sliding a lot it gives much more um, turbulence to it but at the same time, I kind of like the behavior of this stopping and, and dragging more and then rolling instead of just keeping uh, sliding on top on, on this. This is not a natural behavior for waves. No, it would keep rolling and rolling. So for to fix that, um, it's not that uh, hard because you see like just by the difference of the color on the vorticity, uh, you can just add like a drag to the higher vorticity areas and just like a, a little bit over the, the sea level the water line so yeah there is other ways of of tricking this but yeah so next uh, i want to see the narrow band and the first one we have like the narrow band uh, if we if we go inside the solver uh, you see that the narrow band uh, the default is the bandwidth is three that means like the thickness of the narrow band here and in this case we have like uh, the default narrow band of three all this the sub steps the max sub steps and the particle separation are going to be the same we only care about the narrow band width so the bandwidth now is three is the thickness of this and how this affect the wave so let's see this one and now if i decrease the narrow band to two to make it thinner we can compare and see like a thinner narrow band leads to a smaller wave because there is less uh, water to for the the because uh, the way I'm creating this wave is with a force field so I created this force field and it it just like has it's affecting less amount of water so uh, I just that's the reason why like because if you have a lot of water here the force field is affecting also the underneath water and that pressure is going to lead to a bigger wave so in this case with a two we have like a 
It's still a big splash, but because everything here is just the, the, the reflect of like the collision and, and all the turbulence, so it doesn't change too much. But the size of the wave is where we see the biggest difference from here to here. So yeah, see here, it's a little bit more, but not that much. So next, I went to the opposite way. So instead of making three, I, I made it five. So it's like uh, much thicker. And you see, look, look, the size of the wave. Same forces, everything is the same. And it's much bigger. See here. Look the size of the, the barrel here where the lip throws on, on, the, on the top. Here's already a kind of sitting uh, on top of the surface. And here, it's still going. And the explosion is really big. We have much bigger explosion now. So then I went even further with an airband of 10. So now it's much thicker. And uh, also you need to, uh, this the amount of uh, the airband width is going to also add much more particles. It's going to slow down your simulation because it's, it's actually calculating further down the surface. So the smaller it's, it's, so you need to see what you want, you know, like, so here the wave is ridiculous higher than uh, with the five and with the three. So yeah, five and then look the size of this with the same forces uh, and the explosion. Yeah. And now I, I didn't use any narrow band. So now there's no narrow band. <laughs> it went all the way to the roof so because my force field you see how much water it was uh, pushing towards this area and because here we have no velocity uh, this is just forcing it to build up to this area and we are making uh, we are acting on a much thicker level we can't really see this but basically there is from here my mouth all the way to here uh, we have the these affecting so yeah that's a lot of force so if you're not using airband you need to dial down your wave for sure and uh, yeah even then is much less than here and if compared to the very beginning where you have the default airband of three yeah uh, so I would say an airband of five give a very nice result uh, with this particle separation and um, now I want to check collision so basically here we have no collider so it's the same thing I just reduced the the power of the wave in this case because it's the same uh, everything is the same as before I just reduced the the, the power of the the force field that's creating this wave because I wanted to see what a collision would do with the wave. Like, so here the wave is barely breaking. And when it breaks, you see like the velocity is even like the color is not white. There is not much of TC on, on it. And it's just like sliding a little bit. Like a, it's almost, there's no barrel. There's no, it's just a little bit breaking over itself. So now I added a collision. So you see the difference of the wave. Now we have a real wave. We have the edge is already white for the, the, the velocity and vorticity. And we have like a, a nice shape of the wave. And if you see the collider, the thing that um, you, it looks thicker is because the narrow band uh, looks anything that it collides to that changes the surface. Uh, it's going to add particles around it. So because the coll collision here is affecting is in the middle of the narrow band uh, it's also creating uh, another layer of particles below it that we don't care about it we would delete this but it's just that so I have a dip and then it gets shallow here and that's where the wave breaks and if I compare look look the wave comparison of the wave here didn't even break, it's going to break further here and here it's already breaking because uh, all this 
we reduce the amount of water so when we have like the velocity of the field here it's going to decelerate in here and that's going to create a wave and that's a very natural phenomenon that we see in nature like the waves that come from a deep ocean when they reach uh, a shoreline that is much shallower uh, that's going to reduce the velocity of the wave uh, under it and then the waves on top the, the pressure on top is going to build up and then the wave is going to break so that's basically in a very simplified way uh, how the waves work so and the last one i just did um the same thing but i did with a 0.0, .0 uh, 25 particle separation so it's a very high resolution you see that even we have a hole here because this is connecting but here because it's very far away the 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 collision from the surface we have this just little thickness and then we have like a much softer wave so if you are uh creating my conclusion is that if you're creating like a, if you need more details and if you want to go like with a 0 0.025 for example and uh, there's a few things that you you can do to keep the same size of the wave uh first you could increase the narrow band, uh, the bandwidth of the narrow band uh, to five or six. It's going to slow down your calculation, but it's going to help you with that because we have just a little bit of, of thickness here for for it to 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 happen. Also, you can play with the force of the wave. You would need to increase the force of the wave, but basically, what you need most is more thickness. For it to to react properly so that's it uh, but uh, there is another thing that like if you have like a 0 0.25 look how natural it is after it breaks you know like the wave that it keeps rolling here it's so natural like this this is how waves work like once they break uh, they lose they 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 lose the energy they dissipate the energy when they break and then just left over is just this rolling form here on top just regular going and and matching the, the the velocity of everything is aligning and you have like this line going so from a nice shaped wave like in the center we have this yeah that's just a little exercise i hope you you learned something from that i definitely did so uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and see you in the next one